Question 6. What have you learnt about technologies from the process of making this product? Here I'm going to talk about how to take a good picture. First of all, I used a DLSR camera. DLSR stands for Digital Single Lens Reflex. An advantage of using this type of camera instead of a normal everyday digital camera is that you can change the shutter speed. This helps you to keep control of how much light is going into the lens. For example, if you're shooting in a dark room, then you'd have a longer shutter speed of, say, a couple of seconds. This is so that more light can go through the lens. Likewise, if you were shooting in a light area, then you would use a shutter speed of maybe 1 60th of a second. For the shoot that I did for my front cover, I used a rather quick shutter speed as I was using bright studio lights. Another advantage is that you can change the focus. This means that in some shots the background can be out of focus and the foreground can be in focus. This helps as it brings the reader's attention to what is in focus. An important factor when taking a good picture is to use good lighting. For my photo shoot I used the studio lights. This enabled me to light up my model. Using lights also gives the model a more professional look and makes her skin look smoother. One of the most important things to think about when taking a good picture is to remember the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is where you take a picture and cut it into three equal parts, landscape and portrait. This gives you the guides for your picture. So, say for example you were doing a close-up of somebody's face. You would make sure that their eyes were on the top third line, their nose was on the middle third line, and their mouth was on the bottom. I made sure I took this into consideration when I was taking my pictures. I especially made sure that I used this rule on the front cover, as this was a picture of a close-up of my model's face. I used Photoshop on every single one of my photos in my magazine. And because I hadn't used Photoshop before designing my magazine, I found it quite hard to get to know it. I found that there were lots of tools on Photoshop and many that I just had no clue what to do with. For my magazine, I used five main different tools. These were... The Crop Tool. This was a pretty basic tool and I'd used it on other software such as Publisher. I used it on my cover page to cut out part of the background so that everyone would focus just on the model. The spot healing tool is basically used to get rid of any blemishes on the skin. I mainly use this on my front cover. I found this really useful as although my model didn't have any spots, there were some bits that I felt could be touched up. This also gave my magazine a more professional look. The clone stamp tool allows you to copy parts of the picture over to another area on the picture. I mainly use this on my double page spread to get rid of the black dots on the speakers. The liquify tool can be used to pull things in or out. For example, I used it to pull my model's stomach in on the double page spread. To produce my music magazine, I used InDesign. It is similar to Photoshop and Publisher and is used by professional magazine companies. For my initial task of designing a college magazine, I had to use Photoshop to manipulate one image. Here I learned how to change the background to just plain white using the lasso tool. I hadn't used it before so I was so I found it quite hard.